Hello everyone, Daryl here. How are you doing today? What a great fall day it is here in Michigan. It's about 55 degrees. The sun's starting to go down over the lake over here. And the fall colors are just starting to change a little bit. The leaves are certainly starting to fall, even if the colors aren't. Um, but, oh, and the cat is following me around the yard as I do a little bit of work here. I want to do another video here. We're going to do one on the Lincoln Navigator today. One of my more popular videos was how to find the key code on my 2008 Mercury Mariner or Ford Escape when you bought a used car and you don't know what the door pad key code is. Here's what I'm talking about here, the key code for this you, where you push it and it unlocks the door for you. Well, suppose you bought this car like I did and the things were missing from it in the dashboard and the glove box I mean and you didn't know what the code was for it. You could probably take it to the dealership and for a substantial amount of money I'm sure they would be happy to find it for you and tell you what it is. Or you can do it yourself for free in about 10 or 12 minutes. Now I'm going to show you how. And it's really easy. What we're going to do is we're going to open the passenger side door. Sorry the car's a little dirty right now. I haven't had time to clean it up. Move the wife's shoes here and this one out of the way. I'll put that down there in case I have to kneel on it. It's really a simple process on this car. The code is located on a junction box or the I guess it's called the SBJ box or SJB box, whatever it's called. But it, anyway, it's right behind this kick panel right here. And in order to get to it, the first thing we do is we pop up this foot panel here like so. Just lift it and snap it up out of the way. We'll set that over there out of the way. And now we're going to... Here, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Now that's about it. I don't have my tripod today. We're going to lift this up and we're going to pull this out. Work this around the rubber molding here. And we're going to work this out, like so, until that pops out. And now we're going to be able to push this aside and pull this out. And the code is right up under here. Let me see if I can show you. I'm going to have to get a flashlight because it's already getting dark out. But the code's right up under there. We'll show you how that works. All right, this is the fuse box and the uh, combination security module. And what you need to do, I don't, you know, I... My kid took my car and it has my wrenches in it today. My little portable kit. So we're just going to show you what to do here. But it's real easy. You're going to loosen this screw right here, which I believe is a 7 millimeter. And I, there may be another one right down here where my finger is. Right there on the bottom there's another one. You get those two screws loose, this box tilts backward. And then you can read the code. The code is right on the back of it on a white sticker, which if I put a mirror in here, you can, I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can't see the mirror, it's not a flight and I can't hold it anyway, but right on the back side in here is a sticker that says Ford Motor Company and the bottom left hand side below, beneath the Ford Motor Company name, Fomoco name, on the bottom left side is a five digit number and that will be your door code. You get your door code, you write it down or take a picture of it with your cell phone. Some people have actually stuck their cell phones up in here and taken pictures of it too. Mine seems to be a little too big to fit up in there. But super easy. Three little panels here to take off, and they all just snap into place and off. Couldn't be any easier. Save yourself a hundred bucks by not going to the dealer and having them look up something that you can certainly find yourself just as easy. Um, seven millimeter ratchet with a handle and a socket, and three little trim pieces to snap off, and you'll be good to go and happy that you fixed this yourself. Now the cats in the car. What are you doing in the car, kitty? Oh yeah, look at that. Cat's back there in the back seat. Gotta make sure we get him out of here before he didn't spend the night in the car. Line everything up. Snap it back into place with your fist like that. Get this piece lined up right where you want it. Just give it a little jump and you'll hear it click into place. And then the fuse cover is just a little swinging door here that you line up like so and then swing that into place all right we're all back in place here everything's put back the way it was and the code has been retrieved that's how i did it the first time i bought the car because i didn't have a clue what the code was and now we're good to go um, we also have a way to add additional codes. So now that we know the main code, we can add our own personal private code to the doors to replace that code with if we want to, something that we already know that's easy to remember. This code, this factory program, can never be changed. 
but the without changing that box down there but we can add a second code that only you know that will stay with you for the life is your ownership of the vehicle or until you change it yourself and get rid of it and we can show you how to do that too in our next video